Hey, JRiz43 here bringing you a tutorial with Rain Meter on how to make these transparent backgrounds that you see here. Uh, I use honeycomb and with every honeycomb I like to have a uh, transparent background for each game or whatever it is. I'm assuming that you have Rain Meter installed already and if you don't I will put a link in the description down below. So I'm going to use this new Batman background to demonstrate how to make those transparent backgrounds. So first you're going to want to set it as your desktop background. I like monochrome backgrounds. It's easier to work with to get rid of colors and add transparency. So I'm going to open the image up in GIMP. It's a free editing tool. I'll put the link in the description. I'm going to grab the oval selector on the left and select around the area that you want to edit. And then go to edit, cut, paste, and then we're going to want to go to new layer on the right hand side there. So now we have just what that middle section there. So we're going to go to selection tools and by color and we're just going to get rid of white and it's easy because it's black and white so select the white on the image or whatever color you're working with go to edit and clear you can also hit the delete button so there you can see we have transparency through the middle of the picture where the white was and then you're going to go to select and then select none so that nothing is selected so we have a, a new image and surface to work with so I'm going to make a Civilization 5 background since I don't have one already. So I'm just going to go to Google here and grab a nice wallpaper. Uh, I'm going to want it to be behind the transparency of the image that we just created. So save that. Uh, save it where you're going to remember where it is. And then in GIMP, we're going to do File, Open as Layers. And there it is. And we're going to open. Now, I made a mistake here. Uh, you're going to want something with a little color to it. Now, as you can see there with the Civ 5 icon behind it, it's a black background. You really can't tell where one starts and one ends. So. I'm going to go ahead and grab a new wallpaper that I downloaded there. And it has a little bit more color, not the greatest, but uh, it's definitely different than a black background. So with that new wallpaper selected, go ahead and do an oval cutout about the same size as the background that you've selected. Go to Select, Invert. And make sure on this layer you right click on it and add alpha channel so that there's transparency behind it. And then we're going to do edit clear or the delete key. So by inverting the selection it selects everything outside of what you've actually circled. And deleting it will just have transparency. So hit select none so you're not selected anything. And then we're going to right click on the layer and we're going to scale it up so that it fills the entire background. So you can use the move tool and move it around and position it. So Civ 5 is right there, right in the middle. And there we go, we have our new background. And you can remove different layers. Uh, I like to merge it down so that it's one image. Now one of the big things is you want your layer to be the same as your wallpaper size so you want it to be the same size the wallpaper we have is 4k 3840 by 2160 but i'm actually only running a 1080p image so if we apply the new image it'll be too big for my 1080p screen so so what i like to do is create a new skin and we're going to call it civ 5. i have it in the Goku skins, it's a long story, but that's where I put all of my backgrounds. 
So you need a INI file inside of the Civ5 skin folder. All it really needs to say is meter equals image, image name e equals whatever you save your background as. I'm going to name it batsiv.png. I like to work with PNGs. They seem to be a little easier to work with in rain meter. So we're going to export our new wallpaper out of rain meter. And we're gonna we're gonna go into Rain Meter, Goku, uh, Civ Five, or wherever you have your new skin, and save it as batsiv.png, which I put in the INI file. So now that's saved, we can minimize that, and there's the new batsiv.png. The civ5.ini is needed for RainMeter to know that it can initialize that skin. So an INI file is needed. So if we go to Manage RainMeter here, go into Honeycomb. I'm going to add a civ5 honeycomb just so that we can use that and have the wallpaper appear when we hover over that. I'm just going to place it wherever here on the desktop. I like to do transparency 20% and on hover fade in. It's just a nice little extra bit to it. So you can see that it comes into full focus when you hover over it. And I'm going to edit the honeycomb. So now you can see the left mouse action is just going to launch Civ 5. But what I'm going to want it to do is on this other honeycomb you can see I have a mouse over action and a mouse leave action. And I'm going to copy and paste those there. What it's going to do is toggle the Goku Civ 5 skin. So it's turning on and turning off an actual separate skin. Like I said before, the image is in 4K, so we're going to need it to be the same size as my actual desktop. So we put H equals 1080, width equals 1920, so it'll fit that 1080p wallpaper. Go ahead into the Goku Civ 5, and we load it. There it is. It pops up on the screen in front of everything. Um, you can see, there it is. That's what it'll look like when it's active. But we don't want it active all the time. So what we're going to do is put the position bottom so it's on the bottom of everything on your desktop and then load order 4 so it loads after everything and here you have to go to edit settings now these are the full rain meter ini settings this is every active skin that you have you go all the way to the bottom it's your most recent skin there it is civ 5 now we're going to add start hidden equals 1 so that every time that your computer starts or rain meter starts that Civ 5, the wallpaper will start hidden. So we have to go back to Civ 5, unload it, and load it again. And as you can see, when I hit load there, it didn't pop up in front of everything. So now we have the mouse over action and the mouse leave action on the honeycomb, the Civ 5. So that now when we save that, and we have to refresh that skin, You can see now that on hover, the Civ 5 skin loads in the background. And there you go. And now you can work with this template here. Uh, you can load any image you want into here and put it behind the cutout or the transparent area that you made and make it for any application that you want, any game or anything that you want to be behind and transparent like that. And that's it. Now you can take that INI file from the new Civ 5 or whatever application you created the new skin for. You can copy and paste it, just change the name, uh, create a new image, and have it call the new image instead of the Civ 5 one. Um, once you do it once, you can copy and paste it and use it many many times i hope that you are able to use this tutorial hopefully it was easy to understand and follow if you have any questions 
ask in the comments, be sure to hit that like button, and I will see you in the next tutorial.